to say pity too many times before it stops sounding like a word. Pity, pity, pity. See, that's only like two times and it's already just gobbledygook. Gobbledygook too, I can't, I can't even get through that once. Gobbledy, see I'm not even to the last syllable and it's already, <sighs> great. Now I've forgotten what I was talking about. Which is another reason to pity me. Yeah, back on topic, baby. You see, I, I figured if I gave myself big sad eyes, people would pity me and give me whatever I want. And to that end, behold the big sad ionator. You like it? It sucks up a lot of juice, so I'm running it at night when the electricity's cheaper. But the nighttime is the right time for a party. A pity party. <laughs> Here we go. Mom, everything's under control. Thanks, Candace. It's been too long since your father and I had a date night. 13 days, 22 hours, and 17 minutes. How do you know that? I've got an app on my phone. Don't worry about us. Bye. Parents are weird. Yes. Yes, they are. It takes a while to get warmed up, but we're almost there. Oh. Ah. See, I told you it took up a lot of juice. What happened? I think we blew a fuse. Don't get all technical on me. Just fix it. Relax, Candace. Ferb and I will check the fuse box. In the meantime, you go find a flashlight. Okay, find a flashlight. Find a flashlight. Hey, Ferb, isn't it cool how you can still see people's eyes and... Ferb, where'd you go? Oh, you prankster. I know we have a flashlight in here somewhere. Oh, okay, that's a stapler. Ow, scissors. And what is this, an old banana? Ew, what happened to all the flashlights? Aha! Darn! The batteries are dying. I better conserve them. Phineas, Ferb, don't ever... Oh, who leaves a chair right next to a table? Looks like the whole town's in a blackout. What you doing? Isabella, your voice sounds horrible. Fooled ya, it's me, Buford. And my voice isn't horrible, it's raspy. You gotta spend hours screaming in the closet to get it like this, hours. Hey, Phineas, what you doing? There's the original. I'm glad you're here, Isabella. Ferb and I are working on something that will give us all the best blackout ever. Can I help? Sure you can, Baljeet. Hey, Baljeet. Hey, Buford. Your voice is so raspy. It sounds as if sandpaper and a washboard had a baby. See, closet time is paying off. Okay, guys, let's get to work. Hey, hold it right there. Who else is back here? Roll call. Well, there's Ferb, Isabella, Buford, Baljeet, and me. Oh, and there's that kid in the corner with the eye patch. But is it my left eye or my right eye? You don't know. Hi, Mom. Yeah, we're okay. In fact, I was just about to call you. I can't see what Phineas and Ferb are making, but I'm sure it's bustable. Well, it'll have to wait. Traffic lights are out all over the city. Of course, you know I'd like nothing better than to give up my special time with your father to run home and not see what they may or may not have done. I can't remember. Were you always this sarcastic? Shh, they're using a winch, Mom. They're making something huge and... Ah! Kansas found a wood chipper, guys. 